Hello guys, today we're gonna make this simple, easy, fall friendly recipe, pumpkin waffles. These are keto friendly, vegan friendly, gluten free, paleo friendly, and sugar free. So let's jump into the recipe, a super easy recipe and super delicious for this time of the year. I absolutely love pumpkin flavor, pancakes, waffles, cookies. And since I've been having to go off cane sugar, um, this works really well because we're going to actually use maple syrup uh, to sweeten it and also to you know pour some on top when the waffles are done so let's jump into the video so we're going to start off with two eggs and remember two eggs into our bowl and there's two and let me just wipe my hands from the residue I'm gonna go ahead and whisk our eggs together. Break them down here. Guys, it is officially the fall. The fall just came in like a day ago and we had a bunch of rain from like a hurricane morning. But gladly, thankfully, that's all we had was some rain. So I'll take a little rain over like, you know, destructive winds and everything. But um, yeah, it is officially fall. I have on my flannel, you know, so I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Okay, so whisk our egg together and I'm just going to go in with the additional wet ingredients we want to add in three tablespoons of coconut oil or whatever oil you choose okay and then we're going to go in just get the rest of that out then we're going to go in with some milk I have dairy free milk here about a half a cup of almond milk but you can use whatever uh, milk you like I, I use plant-based milk that's all I use but um, and that works for me it's great so we're just gonna give this another whisk I don't even need this yet <laughs> we've got some vanilla extract and I actually have the recipe right in front of me here one teaspoon of, of vanilla and then we're going to go ahead and we're gonna add in our pumpkin you want a half a cup of pumpkin and this is the star of the show so do not skip it really important because we are making pumpkin waffles so kind of important you know <laughs> hope you guys have been doing well like I said I film when I can nowadays because life has just gotten so busy uh, but whenever I find a really good recipe and I have time to film it for you guys then I try to do that and this is a really good recipe and um, I'm not really that good at making waffles so this recipe was really like it was it's really become one of my favorites because it's so easy and it's you know it's hard to mess up I'm just gonna whisk all that together just break up that pumpkin guys can you believe I've been waiting all summer for fall to come I, I've just been begging fall to come because of the humidity where I live so I am just so happy I'm a fall lover I I, I just am I'm ready to get out my cozy sweaters and all that good stuff. Okay, so we whisked it really good. I forgot one wet ingredient and that is maple syrup. You wanna add just maple syrup, guys. Very important, it's gonna sweeten everything and you want about a fourth of a cup. I'm just gonna eyeball it, uh, but about a fourth of a cup. I, I, I tend to add about two to three tablespoons because we're gonna put maple syrup on top of the waffles, so it's no need to go overboard here. Okay, that is, my last whisk and I don't need the whisk anymore I don't need that anymore either all right so next are our dry Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, I can't speak um, next we have our dry ingredients one and two-third cups of almond flour I'm just gonna do it yeah just dump it all in there whatever next I, w I have a half a cup of tapioca starch half a cup of tapioca starch And that's just my niece in the background. <laughs> she's been sick, so she's kind of been a little, a little moody. Okay, so we have our almond flour, tapioca starch. Now I have our leavening. I have some baking powder and some baking soda. All you need is baking powder, but I like to do, I like to have a little bit of baking soda and a little bit of baking powder. I also have a little bit of sea salt here. Sea salt and leavening in our bowl. And last but not least, I have some pumpkin pie spice. Now you can do cinnamon and nutmeg, but pumpkin pie spice includes cinnamon and nutmeg and some other, uh, uh, and some other spices as well. So I just love using pumpkin pie spice. You can use about a half to 
a half to one teaspoon. I have about a half a teaspoon here. Um, or you can use cinnamon and nutmeg like the original recipe says. It's totally up to you. So we're gonna add our spices. And we are done. It's just that easy, one bowl, super simple pumpkin waffles. I think most waffle recipes are one bowl, but um, yeah, we're just gonna mix all this together. The weather is absolutely beautiful today. We had like rain for four days and four nights. Um, we, you know, the weather figured out is beautiful. So like I said, fall is here, the weather is beautiful. It is late September. Um, um, our batter is ready. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it over here to my waffle station I got set up here. Let's uh, show you. Just take, um, I just take a little bit of like a stick of butter that I have, butter here, and I just gotta grease the waffle iron like this. And you don't wanna turn it up too high starting off. You just kinda wanna keep it maybe medium to high. Just depends on your waffle bake. Two. do a taste test for a liberal amount here you can put a little bit of butter if you want now let's taste ready, ready? <laughs> what do you want me to try it's delicious it's scrumptious mmm <laughs> Guys, you've got to make this easy, delicious, versatile, and I think you guys are going to absolutely love this. I say that on every recipe, but I think you guys are going to love this. Mmm. <laughs> Let me finish eating and then I can talk. Mmm. Everything will be down in the description box below. The recipe that I used, I believe the blog is one lovely life so a shout out to one lovely life this is an excellent recipe i tweaked it a bit but not much um i stay pretty much with the same recipe so i will put a link down below put like the two changes that i made and guys you're welcome to try this recipe um and enjoy i i am celebrating over one month on my new job and i am just over the moon i just wanted to add that in there it has been a wonderful time hopefully i can bring you guys one more recipe with before the fall is up i don't want to be too ambitious and say i'm going to bring a bunch because that might not happen um but i do want to bring you guys another fall friendly recipe if i'm able to enjoy i will see you guys again very soon hopefully hopefully sooner rather than later and i hope you guys have a great day bye subscribe for more if you like no pressure <laughs> mm. Delicious.